G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name is Dee Christensen, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster down here at Scoop School. Thanks for tuning into this episode of the podcast. Don't be too concerned, I'm not on an all night or all week bender. Bags under my eyes, raspy throat. Uh, the allergies are kicking my butt out here in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. But anyway, we're gonna surge on regardless. Thank you for tuning in. This is a um, almost like a product review but it's not a product review, if you don't mind me saying. But I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Lockhead Vanilla. I've known John, George, and all of the crew at Lockhead for nearly 20 years now. Been using their vanilla for that amount of time as well. Great product, they have over 300 different types of vanilla extract, getting beans from all around the world. So do yourself a favor, go to lockheadvanilla.com, L-O-C-H-H-E-A-D, lockheadvanilla.com and I very much appreciate uh, their sponsorship of this episode of the podcast. Now, in the US, we seem to be the only country in the world that sells ice cream in a three gallon bucket. Um, You could say it's probably for our massive uh, consumer base. We probably go through more ice cream in the store, per country, per store. Um, But I think you'll find that the majority of ice cream shops around the world use what they call a Napoli um, or a uh, gelato pan. So this is a five liter gelato pan, a five quart gelato pan. And the reason why a lot of places use this is because A, it presents a little bit better on display in the case, and B, uh, you get much better rotation of product. So in a day, two day period, three day period, I'm going through probably two or three of these than I am with one of these. And so you'll find that particularly if your flavor is quite unique, this might be sitting in your dipping cabinet for, I don't know, a week, two weeks, sometimes three weeks. Whereas with this smaller pan, you've got a much quicker rotation. Now. The thing though is that each of these pans costs anywhere between $25 and $35. Stainless steel, as I said, um, five liter, five quart-ish. So what a lot of ice cream makers are doing is they are making their ice cream in a pan liner. So what you can do with this is actually make all of your ice cream in a pan liner. It's made out of plastic, it's made to fit very nicely inside the stainless steel pan so that really when a customer walks up to the case, they even think that this is the actual, uh, the actual container that you made it in. They don't even know that this is an insert. So um, you'll save yourself a lot of money because you figure that you've got let's say a 12 or an 18 pan case. 18 pans with two flavors as a backup for each of those flavors, three times 18, three times 10 is 30, three times eight is 24. You got 54 pans or uh, all of these stainless steel pans being utilized to storage your product. So you take that amount of money times 30, it's a lot of money to be sitting there in inventory. So using one of these, which is about a dollar, now you won't buy these separately, you'll buy them in bulk, but I think they're like 50 bucks for 50 of these. The beauty of this is that you make your ice cream in this, same principle applies, whereas you would put this in the freezer before you, uh, or your stainless steel pan in the freezer, before you uh, freeze it, same thing with your pan liner. Put it in the freezer, start your batch out, get your pan liner out, and then extract your ice cream, gelato, sorbet, straight into this plastic pan liner rather than the stainless steel pan. Now, the kicker is that because the pan liner is made of plastic, it can sometimes bow out on the sides. So if you're only using this and you put your, let's say a 14% ice cream in here, it can bow out to the sides to the point where, looking at myself in the monitor, to the point where when it freezes like that, the side walls, (coughs) excuse me, (coughs) crikey, the side walls are bowed out to the point that when you try and put it in the pan in the case, it actually won't fit in, it's too wide. So it's a good idea to have one of these pans, sit your pan liner in, make your ice cream, and then once it's firmed, you can slide it out and use this pan for the next batch. 
Um, so again, this is a pan liner, plastic pan liner is $1. This is $25 to $35 for your stainless steel pan. Much more economical to use this. You don't have a lot of money tied up in inventory. And this isn't a just a single use. Um, that's a whole other argument about what is single use and what isn't. But if you take care of this, you'll get three or four or five uses out of this. Uh, you scoop your ice cream or your gelato out, wash it gently, upside down, let it air dry, ready to use again. Another advantage also is that these pan liners come with a clip-on uh, lid. So not only are you preserving the product in your freezer, but if you have a robust wholesale uh, market, if you're wholesaling to restaurants, other stores, you can simply just put a nice clip on lid right there and it makes it look very, very nice. So that's the tip. Don't spend a lot of money on these pans. You'll just have money wasted in inventory. Use a uh, plastic pan liner. Um, I know that Gelato Supply here in the US has them. A lot of places the store have them. I'll put a link down here in the show notes. That's about it. Um, look, we're all about saving money and we're all about effectiveness and efficiency in making ice cream. I think this will actually help you. Any other details you need about training, education, hey, scoopschool.com is the place to go. Uh, and again, thank you to Lockhead Vanilla to, for making this video possible. Keep on scooping. See you in the next one.